This is I Like That Story, a Prairie Christmas episode number eight, Fruitcake. This A Prairie Christmas episode of I Like That Story is brought to you by Evolution Consulting, nationwide consulting for style, speaking, and stage. This Christmas, as you navigate the impossible array of Christmas goodies, food traditions, and family favorites, remember to be thankful that you have the option of gaining weight. For thousands of years, people did not gain weight during the long winter. They slowly starved through winter weather, hoping for warm weather and abundant food sources. Food was whatever you could find, and spices consisted of salt. That's about it. So in this story, I want to revisit and celebrate one of the first holiday foods for what it is, a triumph of agriculture and commerce. I'm talking about fruitcake. <laughs> the earliest recipe for fruitcake that we know about is from ancient Rome, pomegranate seeds, pine nuts, and raisins that were mixed into a barley mash. Nothing really inspiring there. In the Middle Ages, honey, spices imported from the Far East, and preserved fruits were added, and the name fruitcake was first used. This would have been a rare and expensive treat, but that changed when sugar started to become inexpensive. Starting in the 16th century, cheap sugar from the American colonies and the discovery that high concentrations of sugar could preserve fruits created affordable, candied fruit, thus making fruitcakes more popular for the average person. And spices. Now, thanks to the trade to the Spice Islands, exotic spices like cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves could be added to seasonal favorites, making them extra tasty. The recipes varied greatly in different countries depending on the available ingredients, but all were ways to celebrate in the coldest winter months the finest of holiday foods. In America, fruitcakes were loaded with pecans and walnuts, and the holiday treat soon had more goodies than batter. Now, because fruitcakes keep well, it also became part of a holiday tradition to ship a fruitcake to relatives. Now, a few things about fruitcake. A good fruitcake tastes better about a month after it's made, giving the dates, dried fruits, nuts, and spices time to blend. Traditionalists will often saturate a fruitcake with liqueurs or brandy to keep them moist. And of course, we become spoiled now. Now, treats and fruits and sweets are so affordable year-round that we complain more about gaining Christmas pounds than enjoying a rare once-a-year treat. So, cut me a slice of fruitcake, please. Serve it with a cup of eggnog and here... Let's sit together by the Yule log. After all, it only comes round once a year. Thank you for listening. This story comes out of my syndicated radio show, A Prairie Christmas, a holiday gift from all of us at I Like That Story. I like that story.net is where you can find out more about the places I speak, the books I write, the podcasts, blogs, CDs of some of your favorite Christmas stories, and more. Look us up on I like that story.net. And until next time, with music from Dan Schwartz, I'm Jeff Gould. Merry Christmas. <laughs>